Greetings and welcome everyone to episode 6 of our FTB Continuum playthrough and we are going to be making our tools and doing a few other things hopefully today. One of the things I wanted to show you that I just figured out is I do have a meat meal if I scramble some eggs. So uh, thank you Pam's Harvest Craft for giving me all these recipes so that I can have a diversity in food. And our chickens are over there producing eggs like crazy right now, which is good. It's very good. We got a lot of uh, Pam Tarvis Craft tools, and I can't wait to get uh, cooking for blockheads up and running. It's one of, it's a very nice uh, mod that works really well with uh, Pam Tarvis Craft. And we have a little guy over here we got to take care of before we get started here. Catch fire, buddy. Catch fire. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, so he's taken care of now, and we can eat our scrambled eggs, which is very nice. So let's see here. Okay, so we're trying to only eat everything once every five times. It's proven to be quite difficult since this one is capable now to be eaten. Okay, so I just gotta keep everything in line. It's kind of difficult until I get stuff that's a lot higher. I have to rotate between for a while. So what I want to do is I got some iron. I went mining some more. And I got some more of this iron. So we're going to be cooking up some of this nice iron here. And we will melt it down. And get us some nice ingots here. Throw in our second set right there. And then what I'm going to do here is go over here. And we're going to cast up some stuff to be able to use. Like I think we're going to make the head out of um, iron. So we're going to need a cast for that one. Oh, we don't have the stuff for casting. Ooh, we may have to use clay. We can do that though. Clay is a single use cast. Hopefully it's here. And then the binding we may make out of copper. I think that's a good one to make it out of. But we'll see. Let's look up binding here. So let's see. Binding out of copper here. That's magma. That's copper. Well established. Oh, 100 durability. Very nice. That will help out quite a bit. So what I'll do is we'll make copper out of that one. I don't want to mix the iron and the copper together just yet. But what we need to do is get some clay in there. Let's see if we have any additional room. Yep, we still have 54 ingots free. So I think it takes two pieces of clay each. Four should be enough to get her done for these two pieces. So let's see here. We'll put those in there. Now what we'll do is we're going to cast our pieces here and put them over here. Now we'll use the clay to mold over top of them once it finishes here. Shouldn't take too long. It should be fairly easy. We should have a cast of the item, a one use cast, which is okay. I can live with that. I mean, we have plenty of clay to be able to use for this, so it's not that big a deal. So it says we have one block's worth of clay. And it is not letting me cast the clay. Did I put it as the main one? I sure did. But we cannot cast the clay. Let's look up cast here. Maybe we're missing something. It looks like they disabled the clay casting. That's not good. So it allows us to use gold or brass or a loom brass. So let's see, what does it take to make brass? Well, it requires alloy, it requires copper and zinc. We haven't found any zinc yet. Holy smokes. So zinc, we gotta find zinc. Otherwise we're not able to cast at all here. So this is gonna be quite an adventure trying to figure out where this is going to go. So a loom brass is going to be aluminum and copper. I think I may have found some aluminum. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to knock out this iron here real quick. We'll, uh, we'll take it out of there. It's also going to give me one block of clay. Well, let's take out the iron first. So we'll save these here for, a, for here in a minute. We're going to go and do something a little bit risky, but it'll all work out in the end. There's a hole over here that goes straight down. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try to dig straight down to that 
right there. So to do that, we're gonna need to go over to right about here, I think, or here maybe. And we're gonna go down in there and get this stuff that should literally be just right there. Yep. So let's dig down in here a little bit. I forgot about, there'd be more. Because we're not quite down far enough yet. Yeah, that will come down too. Bummer. But we'll get there. So we're going to go down here. And we're going to grab this stuff. Let's see here. Let's keep going down. And there it is. There it is. So let's mine. It requires a diamond pickaxe to get out. So I'm not sure how we're supposed to cast anything just yet. In fact, I'm not sure we can necessarily just yet. So let's put a piece there. Let's go out here. So if we can't get the aluminum, let's see if there's actually aluminum. So let's see, is there actually aluminum or... There is, it's found between Y level 48 and 72. But doesn't tell me what its mining level requirement is. Hmm. It doesn't say. But it's there, so we have to go find it. So it's between 48 and 72, which was, means it could be surface bound down to about our first mining level. So I'm going to go see if I can find some. Looks like I found some with a ton. <laughs> a ton of lava here this is gonna be pretty good i'll be able to get this out of here hopefully there's more than one piece here the problem is it's also got the bauxite ore which i can't mine which is kind of a bummer but let's grab this aluminum piece here and it should cook up into what we need without too many issues the problem is 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 it going to be enough 144 millibuckets right it requires Three millibuckets and one bucket of copper. So we need three of them to one copper to make four of those. So let's see if we can continue to find some more here. Hopefully there's another piece right around here. Hopefully it doesn't just spawn in a onesie. Which really would stink. But it would be a reality that we may have to face. So it doesn't look like there's another one here, so I'm going to keep mining. And there we go. We found our second piece, but we got to be careful when acquiring it. We don't want to get any lava on us. So getting this piece isn't too tricky, because thankfully the bauxite is blocking the lava. Here's a zombie melting around us somewhere. But what we're going to do is keep digging here. We should be able to find another piece close by. There we are. Finally found the third piece. So I think it does spawn with bauxite since all three pieces have been found with bauxite. Which makes things a little bit easier. Oh, my pick just broke. So we just got to repair that real quick. But it will help us out. This will get us exactly what we need for the moment here. There we go. Third piece of aluminum and we're good to go. So let's head back up and let's prep this stuff. So it's going to require three of these and it's going to require one copper. So we're going to mix these two together. Whoops, we went out the wrong door. We're going to mix these two together and see what we can get to be able to make us what we need. I'm hoping that iron does not mix with um copper though i think it does i just can't remember so clay blood i can make with clay blood and iron i can make pig iron what let me have to start using that what is pig iron used for let's see here so you can use pig iron for a lot by the looks of things. Let's see, can it be used for a binding? Let's see. 
Pig Iron has Tasty and it's 170. I don't know what Tasty does, but that sounds amazing. So what I want to do here real quick, before I get distracted here, is it doesn't look like copper or aluminum will mix with those two. So let's throw those in there. And that aluminum cooks up fast. We can grab that block of iron, but I don't really want to if we don't have to. Just hope we don't have to find the aluminum again if this messes up. But it doesn't look like it's mixing, so even if it mixes, I can still get it out of there without any issues here. Okay, so it's slowly mixing to make our alum brass. It has one ingot, two ingots, three ingots, four. Very nice. So we have four ingots of alum brass. That should give us, if we grab our thing here, let's take these out of our hand. That should give us what we need here. Taking these into consideration, our binding. So I guess we're making permanent ones instead of temporary casts, which will work just fine. So let's see here, we need to switch it out. I don't think it's on top. There, there it is. Grab that and cast it. I don't know how much it took, but we're gonna check here in a minute. Let's go over here and let's continue to look at this here. It took one ingot to cast, so we can cast all the stuff we need. So we can make an ax and we can make the shovel without any problems here. So let's go grab those two while we're at it. And we'll be able to get them done as well. That's really, really cool. So let's see here. We need the shovel head. There we go. And we need, well, let's do the sword blade first. And let's swap this out for the um, axe head. Or the, yeah, the axe head. Because those will be more important, I think. We'll get some more aluminum and make the other one. But just not yet and probably not on camera. So let's go here and we'll make these ones real quick. Because we can always use a sword blade. I don't know what a pig iron sword blade would be like. That's something I'd have to look into. So now I gotta need a place to put all these doggone casts here. But first we're gonna cast up our um, iron. Because we don't want to cast up clay. That would, that would really kind of suck. So we're gonna cast up that. We need to get some copper to cast up our handle here. Let's see. I think it's gonna gonna be one. Well, if we're gonna do the handle, we can't, or the binding, the binding, my bad. It'll be the binding and it's a material cost of one. Oh, let's take a short nap here. There we go, we're back. So now that that's done, grab those two. Get that one, throw in a piece of copper. So we have seven ingots, we have the molten clay, which I'm gonna cast it, I wanna see what happens. We got plenty of clay to mess with, so why not? Should fill it up. Ah, it's gonna make terracotta. Ah, okay, so that's the recipe for terracotta, I guess. So now we have a single piece of terracotta. We'll set you over here because I don't really know what to do with you just yet. Interesting. Okay, so let's check on our copper. It looks melted. Drop it in there. And now let's pull this out of here. So we have a binding for copper. We're gonna need more than one binding. We're gonna need three technically. Let's go grab a few more pieces of copper here. There we go. We need two, because we're gonna need one for the sword and one for the axe that we're gonna make. So let's drop them in there and let them cook up real quick. We'll grab this one over here. So that one there is for this one here. And then we're gonna need to make the sword and the axe. That's not gonna be an issue. Copper should almost be done. It is almost done. And now that that's good, oh, we gotta swap it. There we go. Make our binding. And then make another binding right thereafter. Should be fairly easy and straightforward here. There we go. Bam! Okay, so swap this out for the axe head. And then swap it out for that one. 
There we go. We'll use our iron to get our actual pieces here. And we'll make the handle wooden. I wonder if we could use that lava wood. We should check into that. Let's see here. Go with that. Let's see. Is lava wood a possibility here? Let's see. Because you got the firewood. And it works pretty good. So let's look up um, tool rod. Let's see here. So our wooden one is a basic 25 and it gives ecological. And the firewood gives auto smelt and a durability of negative 200. And it consumes a modifier. So it doesn't look like we're doing that one right now. So we're just going to stick with the regular one. And we need a chest out here or something to put this in. But that's fine. So let's see. If I type in cast, is it going to be the casting thing? Let's see, there it is. The pattern chest. So it's a... No, we don't want the pattern chest, we want the other one. What was it called? I can never remember its name. Hmm. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. There we go. At Tink should get us close to it. Let's see here. There it is. The part chest. That's the one we're looking for. So it's a chest with some sort of plank and a pattern and some sticks. So that's pretty easy. We got uh, no sticks, but we can have sticks. There we go. Now let's make a chest here. That should be easy enough. Start that one. And then we need one of these, which takes 15 seconds. But that's nothing. We can easily get that. You can hear it grinding away. That's pretty cool. I like the effect of the EFAB, and I wish it was um, incorporated into more recipes. And I, I hope it will be in the future. I'm going to definitely check on that. I wish you could use it as a regular crafting table at times as well, but at this time you cannot. Which, uh, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not going to be upset by it. But we'll do what we can with what we got here as we continue to play through Continuum here. So, oh wait, we need a pattern chest. Oh, I'm smoking crack, I swear. Oh, so let's see. A pattern chest is much simpler here. It is just a chest and a pattern. So there we go. We'll let this go through its little rigmarole here. And we'll be able to get what we need to get without too much incident here. Oh. It interrupts it if I go and switch through and look for something else. Let's see. Let's let this one finish. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And there we are. It is done now. Okay, so we should be able to make this in our own inventory. And so for the part chest, we are going to put that somewhere. I just don't know where just yet. So let's see here. We'll move this one. Grab that one there. Okay. We'll throw those in there. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. So now we can keep all those in there without having to worry about space issues. So let's go in here and let's modify our tools. So that should be one of our next and final steps is to be able to modify our tools. Let's take this one because I don't really want to lose the XP we already have on this. But we want to make it better. So let's see here. It's going to up the mining speed by two. Going to give us a diamond level miner. It's going to up the durability. Pretty much doubles the durability, which is nice. And we still only have the two modifiers on there. And so can we double it down? There we go. So that one really ups the durability to 328 or 329. Yeah, so it ups it up quite a bit. It gives us two more modifiers, which are the magnetic from the iron and the well established from the copper which will give us experience points and so this doesn't really increase its mining speed or its attack but that's fine it just gives us a much more durable item to use and so let's take that back and now we got the advancement isn't it iron picking that's funny so let's go with our sword next here let's upgrade it so currently we're doing 5 attack damage. With this one we're going to do 6 attack damage. 
Oh, and it doesn't require a binding, it requires a guard. I forgot about that. So this one's only gonna be have its damage increased by one, but it does still do more damage, which is nice. And we're gonna take that out of there. And now next, our little stone hatchet here that we have is going to go the way of the iron, and it's gonna be exactly the same as our other one, 329 for durability. It's gonna have a better mining speed and it actually has a good attack, 5.95. Wow, so we got those done and these stone sharpeners are definitely fun, something we're gonna to have to work at. But our pickaxe is nice and shiny again. And so we have our three tools that we need. Uh, we're gonna eventually have to do something about the shovel but we'll eventually make a casting of it, so it's not that big a deal. So we got the part thing here. We can just throw that in there for now, and that one in there to use them up. So we have a touch of iron left over. We have three ingots left. What we can do with that is we're going to put this stuff away like you. So what we'll do here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six should be enough to cast us out a single block, and we'll be good to go with that. And as you can tell, we're running low on, we're about halfway down on lava, but we have that whole pool to access, which is pretty nice. And we ended up finding all the aluminum we needed in that very spot, which is pretty good. I'm pretty thankful for that. So what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? Well, I'm probably going to work on a lot more food off camera. Oh, I didn't tell you guys, I got this chain helmet by accident, killing one of the skeletons that were running around here. But I need to fix a little bit more food, and I'll probably do that off camera between episodes, just so you guys don't have to deal with it. But I think this is where we're going to call the episode. I'm really uh, very pleased with how it turned out, and I thank you guys for watching. I always really thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.